While I'm waiting for the new fork seals, I am going to replace this master cylinder sight glass. I bought replacement lenses, so I need to get to fixing this. It's leaking out of there. Synthetic brake fluid. I want to do this without taking all of this stuff apart. So what I'm going to do is put that not disassembled fork back in here, tighten things up so this will get snugged up and see if I can replace it without having to take the master cylinder off because it's all bled and ready to go. I think I can do it. Here's the new part. It came with an O-ring. It's a plastic window. It's got a flange around the outside of it. You have to be careful to get the flange out of the other one, out of the master cylinder. Next, take this cover off. Oh! Big spill. I thought there was nothing left in there. Moving to plan B. Uh, I just tied this clip on up with a string it's tied up to the ceiling. So this master cylinder is fairly level right now. That's better. No spillage. I have plenty of fluid to replace this. Alright, that's below the sight glass. This is not what I was expecting to see in here. I was expecting a much bigger opening, so I gotta get something in there to push that window out. And then I hope the other one fits properly. I'm not sure if this is gonna work. I'm gonna see if I can uh, lever this thing out. Put my finger on it, see if I can feel it moving. But I need something to get some pressure on it to lever it like this. I just ground down this screwdriver bit. Let me see if that'll get in there. A lot more grinding. I did grind this down a whole bunch more. It fits into this little slot in here. I put it on a quarter inch socket. Slide the whole thing in there. Afraid it's just going to push the plastic, not push it out, but just damage it, which is what it's doing. How the heck are you supposed to get this out? Not working. This thing is doing what I was afraid it would do. It's just uh, pushing on this plastic lens. It's not budging. And I'm going to have to grind this thing down more to push on it more, but I have a feeling. All it's going to do is poke through that plastic lens. So, hmm, what to do? I may have to drill it out. Here's my next trick. This is getting a little aggravating. Why did I get this type of master cylinder? Hmm? Alright, now I'm going to need another spacer in there. Oh, it's coming out. Oh, yeah. Wow. Look at that. It left that little metal flange in there. I'm going to have to get out. I see an O-ring. Wow. How about that? I think it has a flange in there. This one has a flange. But this almost looks kind of self-contained. It's like exactly the same size as this one. I have to dig around in there for a second. And there's a lot of crust and corrosion in there. I don't know if there's a metal flange. There's a lot of shit coming out of there. 
Lots of pretty colors. I'm going to be scraping here for a while. This is a job better suited for off the bike working on a bench. All right, I've got that thing all cleaned out. Now it's time to put the new lens on, see if it even fits. Put a tiny little bit of brake fluid on the, the O-ring. And it does seem to fit nicely inside there. Oh, <laughs> yeah it does. Now, the fun part, I need to press this thing on here. This guy. And try to get it started. I don't know how I'm going to do this. It's started, but it's crooked. Next trick. I just, I'm not going to be able to get this thing level. Hmm, maybe. I'm going to loosen the master, uh, master cylinder up and take it off. I should be able to still work with it there. Give this guy another go. See if I can get it a little more seated. A little more seated, but it's crooked. Still not going to be able to get it centered. It would be an absolute miracle if I can do this by myself. See if I can get a little bit. I know it's not showing up very well there. There it goes. Part of it. And it's tweaking. I think I finally got that thing in there. Uh, I did have to use a pair of channel locks, like so, because the window was going in cockeyed. So I was able to tilt the socket and get the pressure on it where I needed to, and it finally went in. Got in proper, I think. So I'm giving it a final squeeze with this C-clamp to make sure it's seated in there up against the O-ring. Looks like I've got a squished O-ring in there. Put the master cylinder back on. Let's put some DOT5 synthetic brake fluid in there and see if it holds up. Hope so. The sight glass is all filled up. I'll come out here tomorrow morning and find a big puddle, right? See, after one minute, no leak. Look at that. A new window. I hope it holds up. I'm going to leave my uh, rigging set up here in case I have to take it apart again. I do have a second window in case I need it. hope I don't need it.